All right, we're in the dead middle of summer here. Deer season's getting close. Some of y'all are out doing a little bit of scouting, maybe working on tree stands or scouting new public land or doing work on your food plots, whatever it may be. This video is geared towards those of y'all who are out scouting, looking for new places during the summer, getting ready for upcoming season. Maybe you're gonna try a new state or you found a new piece of public you wanna scout before season. We're gonna look at several different types of plant that I like to use as an indicator of how much deer are using an area or how many deer there are in an area. This time of year, it's often hot and dry. The, the ground is hard packed and uh, it's just hard to find tracks. You can find droppings, but if you're, if you're just looking for the quickest way to tell that deer are using an area, there's a few plants that stand out above the rest. Deer will eat most almost anything green. But there's a few plants that I'm gonna list here that I noticed deer tend to favor over other plants and they are a good indicator that deer are using an area frequently. I call these browse indicators because they are browsed on, plants that are browsed on that indicate that deer use an area frequently. So let's say you're walking through the woods and you see this one type of plant, but there's not much sign of browse. Maybe here and there deer's nibbled on it. And you go another half mile down through the woods and it's just tore up. That's that tells you the deer are concentrated in one area rather than another and that's a good quick scouting tool to kind of get yourself in the right area all right so without wasting any more time let's go ahead and get into these plants and show you all what they look like and where to find them first on our list is osage orange also called bodock or hedge apple this is a well-known tree covered in thorns that produces the familiar green brain-like fruit while deer may occasionally eat the fruit the real draw is the leaves. You may notice where bodock grows on field edges, all the foliage will be eaten off below a certain height. This creates a browse line, which is just a line about four feet above the ground where deer have eaten all the foliage below. If you find bodock trees growing along a field, but there isn't a distinct browse line, there's probably not many deer use in the area. Next up is strawberry bush. This is one of the deer's absolute favorite and is sometimes called deer ice cream. Strawberry bush is a native shrub in the genus Euonymus that grows in the woods and stays green all winter long. The stem and leaves are solid green and the leaves are arranged in pairs opposite each other on the stems. In the spring you may notice green flowers, but in the fall and winter the bright pink and red fruits really stand out. Deer browse heavily on the leaves and stems, especially the new growth on top. Because of this, strawberry bush may be branched out multiple times near the top where deer have repeatedly eaten the tops off. If you don't see signs of browse on strawberry bush, there probably are not many deer around, so keep looking. Number three on the list is jewel weed. There are two types, regular jewel weed with orange flowers and yellow jewel weed with yellow flowers. The stems are thick and full of juice and the leaves are tender. You may find this plant growing along the edge of the woods or near creeks or rivers. Deer love to browse on jewelweed wherever they pass through, so it's a great way to tell where deer pass through most frequently. Look for the typical signs of browse where deer have eaten the tops off of the plants near well-used deer trails. Next up, we got nettle. In this video, I'm showing wood nettle, which is related to stinging nettle. And yes, it will sting if you come into contact with the spines on the stem. I know the leaves look shiny in this video, but that's because it just rained. They're actually pretty dull green. This plant usually grows on creek banks in the woods and forms dense colonies of stinging plants. If you've ever walked through a patch of this in shorts, you know what I'm talking about. It's not usually browsed by deer unless the deer numbers are really high or other food sources are limited. If you do find nettle that has been browsed, you probably have a ton of deer use in the area very often. Number five on the list is Chinese privet. This is a highly invasive shrub that was introduced from China as a hedge for landscaping. It may work well for privacy in the backyard, but it escaped into the wild and has taken over many areas across the eastern United States, especially along creek banks and river bottoms. Even though it doesn't belong here, deer will use it as bedding cover and for food. If you're scouting an area full of privet, keep an eye out for signs of browse on the young plants near the ground. Also keep an eye out for browse lines on mature shrubs growing on the edge of fields or clearings. If deer numbers are high, you will see obvious signs of browse on privet. The shrubs bloom with white flowers in the late spring and produce berries that start green and then ripen to a deep blue in the fall. Number six is greenbrier, also called sawbrier. Greenbrier is a whole genus of plants containing many different species. 
but most of them are similar in appearance and the deer pretty much eat all of them. Greenbrier grows in the woods as a vine covered in thorns. The stem and the leaves stay green all winter long. Oftentimes, Greenbrier will not appear to be a vine because deer will constantly eat the new growth, which leaves a short, shrubby plant only a few feet tall. Other times, you may find Greenbrier growing as very long vines that climb all the way up to the top of mature trees. Because of the thorns, deer prefer the new growth where it's still tender and the thorns haven't got sharp yet. But, regardless, this is still one of the deer's favorite plants to browse on in the woods and I rank it up there right next to strawberry bush. Next up is trumpet vine. This is a familiar vine as it is often planted in landscaping, but interestingly enough, trumpet vine is listed as a deer resistant plant. However, that doesn't mean the deer don't like it. Deer actually browse heavily on trumpet vine but it is so resilient that it just keeps growing no matter what, so it's considered deer resistant as a landscape plant. The compound leaves are easy to pick out among the foliage in the woods. When grown in full sun, it produces large orange trumpet shaped flowers that can be easily seen from a distance. However, in the woods, you will find many young vines growing low to the ground where deer have browsed them down. The tops will be branched out multiple times where deer traffic is heavy so they won't look like a vine. This is another great indicator of the presence of deer in the woods and it's a very common plant found across the eastern United States so it's easy to find. I could keep going on but I'll finish this list with one more plant, Winter Creeper. This creeping vine was introduced from Asia and is considered invasive. It actually belongs to the same genus as strawberry bush, Euonymus, which might explain why the deer love it. The vine will spread across the ground forming a carpet of dark leaves and will also climb up trees until it reaches full sun where it will flower and then produce fruit. The fruit will be noticeable in the fall and winter and the leaves will stay green all winter long. In areas with heavy deer traffic, winter creeper will be eaten off the tree trunks to up to about four feet above the ground which forms a browse line on all the tree trunks where the vine is growing. That's going to be a wrap for this video. I could probably throw in a few more species of plant, but in reality, deer will eat almost anything green, so I figured I'd make it a short list of some of their favorites, at least the ones around here in Tennessee and most of the eastern United States. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll try to get back to you, and good luck to y'all this year. I hope y'all kill a bunch of deer.